the progress we are expecting uh, to increase roughly around 8000 seats seats based on the number of application which we have received uh, in this academic year which includes both ug and pg seats this is the first time that the total number of mbbs seats for which counseling is underway has decreased as compared to the total number of seats in the last academic session. Uh, how do you plan to address this? Because of the ongoing inquiry, numbers of seats may have been reduced, but uh, overall the number of seats are eventually going to increase by 8000 or even more after the completion of the total inspection process. Over 2.4 lakh candidates have appeared for the NEET PG this year, while the number of seats are much, much lesser as the inspections have not yet been held. How do you plan to tackle this? Coming to the PG counselling, we have already initiated the process simultaneously for the PG inspections and uh, PG counselling is going to take place in the month of September and we are confident that new seats will be also added to the PG counselling process. Posts of presidents and members in various boards like the UG board and ethics and registration board are vacant. How will NMC operate without these vacant posts being filled up? As far as I know, the UG, bo uh, UG board and EMRB board President uh, posts are vacant, also the member posts are vacant uh, and part time members posts are also vacant which is under the process by the government. Until then we have uh, postgraduate board president, we have uh, mob president and myself as well as a very strong admin team is in the place. and. Uh, since this responsibility has been wasted upon me, we will ensure that the process doesn't suffer.